going to practice a sun salutation. So many of you have seen this uh, probably in most vinyasa classes you've taken. Um, but really, the sequence of sun salutation A and sun salutation B on its own is a really great uh, home practice. So hopefully that's what you'll take away from this. And we'll break down some modified flows, uh, chaturanga, up dog, back bend, and, and all that. Um, and we'll do some full flows together as well. So it is a full body workout, and our focus will primarily be on linking the movement to breath. Um, so when you're ready, grab your mat, some water, and meet me in a child's pose. Bring your body down to the ground. Let your head connect to your mat. Let your sit bones get heavier to your heels and arms resting, so elbows down, fingertips wide and relaxed. And just take these first couple moments to find your breath, to check in with your body. Notice how your inhales and exhales move even the body in stillness. So without any muscular effort on your part, the natural inhale expands back body, side ribs and belly. And the exhale collapses everything towards the ground, letting gravity take over. Two more rounds of breath like that. Maybe starting to take these breaths in and out through the nose constricting the back of the throat, finding your ujjayi breath, that warm, audible breath, kind of like an ocean wave in the back of your throat, be really useful through our sun salutations. Inhale. Exhale, fogging up a mirror, audible breath, warm breath out the nostrils, pushing from back of throat, constricting back of throat. Last round of ujjayi breath. Keep this ujjayi breath as you move or come back to inhales and exhales through the nose. If you need to exhale through the mouth, of course do it, um, but see if you can come back to using the nostrils for those exhales as long as it's accessible. Your next inhale draws you up to a tabletop position. So riding the breath, riding the inhale. Set up for tabletop. And then on your next inhale, you drop the belly, open the chest, expand the lungs. Lots of room for the lungs to expand. Exhale, collapse everything through center. Dome the back on the exhale. Less room needed and actually empty out the lungs so that you have more space to hug in. Two more rounds like that. So learning how the breath actually links to our flow Inhale, we extend the spine, we extend the chest forward, giving more room for that rib cage to expand. Exhale, we scoop the belly in, we find more control and contraction here on the exhale, all the way to empty, more room to curl in. Last round, your own breath, maybe staying with that ujjayi breathing. And then come through center. Just to warm up the wrist, bring the fingertips to the side. Palms still facing down, eyes at the elbows towards each other, and just rock side to side. Check in with how weight feels over top of these wrists. You can always skip the flows if you're dealing with some wrist issues. You can always take a break from your down dog and child's pose. Now bring the backs of the hands to the ground, fingertips face each other, pressing into one and then the other by bringing that weight side to side again. So pressing into backs of hands, knuckles, stretching the wrists in the opposite direction of how we put pressure on them through our flows, through our planks. And then roll back, shake it out, good. 
And we'll meet in the down dog. So set up your foundation. We're going to do a bunch of down dogs today. And each time you come into a down dog, can you check in with hands and arms? Can you bend those knees, find a long spine, high hips up and back towards the ceiling? And then the extension of the legs will get easier the more we flow as far as opening up the backs of the legs. But also remembering that this is not the point of down dog. It's about the spine. It's about decompressing everything as we open, extend, and flex and fold. Just coming back to this neutral shape. Take two more breaths here. Internally rotating the legs, externally rotating the arms. Breathing through nostrils, last exhale. And then bend the knees, look forward for the first one, take little steps, little, little, little steps all the way to the front of your mat. Feet are hip width distance apart. Inhale, lengthen the spine, this extension of spine. You're opening the chest, but you're gazing at the ground in front of you. Your neck is long, your shoulders move back in space. Exhale, fold, collapse over the legs. One more time like this. Inhale, lengthen spine, press the legs away from the torso, keeping those hips back, legs extended any amount. Exhale, fold. And then for the first one, let's round up, heavy spine, knees are soft, come all the way to standing, close the eyes, shrug the shoulders, let it go. All right, so mountain pose is how we begin each sun salutation. We're going to start with sun salutation A. And so your toes come together and your heels are wide if everything's good in the low back. If it's not good in the low back, then you keep those feet hip width distance apart to create space there. So you decide, I'm going to do traditional toes together. Knees are always soft. And as you inhale, you reach the arms up, but relax the shoulders away from the ears, get tall, maybe gaze up, mini back bend through upper back only. Exhale, bend the knees, fold over the legs, let belly come onto thighs, then let the head go, arms go, and relax into flexion of the spine. Inhale, hands on shins or on the ground to find that extension of upper back, opening the chest. Exhale, fold, plant your palms, step back with the left leg, then the right leg for a plank pose. Pause, find your plank, set up those wrists underneath your shoulders, press your toes into the ground, heels are lifted, reaching back, rock forward on the inhale, rock back on the exhale, and then come forward, drop your knees, bend your elbows, touch your side body, and slowly bring yourself all the way to the ground. Modified flow for the first round. Hands come underneath of your shoulders, press into tops of feet, knees lift, Inhale, start to slither yourself forward for a cobra pose, squeezing upper back, shoulders away from ears, peeling chest up and forward. Exhale, come back down. Hands come underneath of shoulders or a little bit back. You can tuck your toes and press up to a plank pose, or you can press into your knees, press up, come back into a child's pose with tucked toes, eventually meeting in a down dog for three breaths. So always time to check in for the first breath, bend those knees, find that extended spine, let the head go, let the neck go. And then the other two breaths are for focus and for finding those long inhales and exhales, letting the heart rate come down in this inversion, relaxing the nervous system. After your last round of breath, bend your knees, look forward, step forward with the left foot first, then the right, big steps or little steps to get to the top, inhale, lengthen spine right away, hands on shins or on the floor, long flat back, exhale, fold over the legs, press into the feet, inhale, come all the way up to standing, exhale, hands through heart center, Find mountain pose. If your feet were hip width distance, you want to bring them together. Check in for a breath. So we're going to do that same flow with the same modification, just a little add-on for anyone who wants to introduce um, up dog into their flow. 
And for this, we're also going to focus on how the expansion and flexion of the spine really connects the breath. So why we inhale in one direction and why we exhale in the other direction. So here we go, press into the feet, inhale, open the chest. You can feel the lungs expand, the rib cage move away. This is why we inhale as we open the body. Exhale, just like in your cat pose, you round, you let everything go all the way to empty. Belly helps squeeze everything all the way in, curl in. Inhale, lengthen, you find that expansion again. You give your lungs, your side body room to expand by opening the chest. Exhale, you plant your palms, you step into plank and you use that exhale for a bit of strength. So when you are moving into chaturanga perhaps, you can follow that exhale here. Inhale, come forward first, stay open in the chest. Knees up or down, exhale, come all the way to the belly. You can take a cobra pose, or if you want to try up dog with me, bring your hands to your side ribs rather than your shoulders, so a little bit further back behind you. Elbows squeeze in towards center, in towards your ribs, press into your feet so much your knees lift, knowing that you're going to lift your thighs and your hips off the ground. Inhale here. Exhale, start to press into hands, press into feet, lift legs, lift hips. Open the chest, arms are strong and straight. We inhale here, of course, because we're expanding. We need room for the lungs so we can open chest, even throat, look up. Exhale, if you want to transition, start to scoop the belly, use the breath, squeeze everything in and up, and only flip over those toes at the last moment for when you're coming into your down dog. Good, take three breaths here. So options to our flow, you choose what feels best in your body. So Jai breath helps calm the nervous system down as well. Tells the body you're safe. After your last round of breath, look forward and step towards the front of the mat, maybe with the right foot this time. Inhale, lengthen spine when you get there. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way to standing. Reach tall, open the chest, expand the lungs. Exhale, hands through heart center. Touch toes, come back to mountain pose. Let the arms come by your side. Take a breath. Final option is that chaturanga, that half plank lowering either from knees or from toes, and then we'll have our sun salutation A complete and we'll repeat it three times after that. Inhale, reach up. Gaze follows, tip of nose up. Exhale, fold, gaze follows that thumb until it gets to the ground, then the head releases. Inhale, lengthen, gaze is on the ground in front of you, not to the wall, so you're keeping a long back of neck. Exhale, fold, step back with the right foot, keep alternating what foot you step back with, plank pose. Knees up or down, you're coming forward. You're bending at the elbows, only halfway. See what it feels like, squeeze in through center, find those triceps, and then maybe come all the way to the belly. Setting up for cobra or up dog, press into the feet, inhale, lengthen the spine, open the chest. Exhale, either through a child's pose or up and back from down dog into, or from up dog, sorry, into your down dog for three breaths. Finding that inhale, finding that exhale. Noticing the backs of legs starting to open with every down dog you take. Last breath. This time, look forward, bend your knees. You can absolutely step or maybe hop in front of the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands through heart center, mountain pose, hands to the side. Setting up for three more rounds of Sun Sal A with your option of, of how you want to flow. If you want to take Chaturanga, if you want to take Cobra or Up Dog, 
Um, but the point is we move with breath. So make that your focus more than anything. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Your breath is what you're following. If it doesn't match mine, don't worry. Exhale, down. Step to plank, or if it's in your practice, you can hop to chaturanga right away, lower. Inhale, up dog, maybe from chaturanga or from your belly, or take a cobra pose, your back bend. Exhale, up and back, down dog. Three breaths. Your breath should be audible. Bend your knees at the bottom of your last breath. Look forward, step or hop front of the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands through heart center. Last two rounds. I will not guide you. You can look at me if you want, but I want you to follow your breath. And I want you to follow your body. Breathe here. Don't forget to take three breaths in down dog when you get there. Last round, take your time, find the breath more than the shapes. Let the entire length of your inhale or exhale drive the movement and pause at the top or bottom of that breath. Three breaths at the bottom, down dog. At the bottom of your last breath, make your way forward to the front of the mat any way that feels good. Take one more extension of your spine. Fold, let it go. And then inhale, come all the way up to standing. Palms through heart center. Close the eyes, let the hands come to the side. Find mountain pose for one round of breath. Good. Moving on to sun salutation B. So, toes touch or hip width distance apart with the feet. You're sitting back and down into your chair pose. Taking an inhale here, weight is in the heels. Sit back and down, exhale, pull over the legs. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, plant the palms, step or hop to your plank pose or to chaturanga. Exhale to lower. Inhale, up dog or cobra, your back bend. Exhale, down dog. Right when you get to down dog, you reach your right leg up. Forward between the hands, drop your back heel. So you have a heel to heel or a little wider um, footing. So your right hip hugs back, left hip hugs forward. And you are in a warrior one when you come up. Both heels pressing down, outer edge of the left foot, bending the right knee 90 degrees. Arms come up, chest is open. Right away, you plant your palms. You step back into your plank. You choose what your vinyasa looks like. And you meet in a down dog. 
Right away, left leg up and forward. Foot between the hands, right foot to the right, drop the heel, angle the foot, scissor the hips, and then inhale, come on up, warrior one. Settle in on the exhale. And then hands come to the ground. Step back into your plank. You can always choose to skip your vinyasa or lower halfway or all the way to the ground. Inhale, your back bend. Exhale, down dog, three breaths. So adding a bit more dynamic movement to your flow, building on from A. Slowing down the breath in these pauses. At the bottom of your third breath, bend the knees, step or hop in front of the mat. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold, bring your toes to touch. Find your chair pose. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, up, come into chair. Come all the way to standing. Take a breath. And here we go again. Sit back and down, seat back, chest open, gaze up. Exhale, fold over the legs, straighten them, let the head go. Inhale, lengthen the spine, find an opening of the chest. Exhale, step into your plank or hop into your chaturanga and choose how you want to lower to the ground and how you want to open your upper back on the inhale. Exhale, down dog. Right foot comes in between the hands, drop the back heel, set up for warrior one. Take your inhale, come right into it. Settle in on the exhale. Hands to the ground, inhale, exhale, step into your plank, take a flow, take a back bend, down dog. Step left foot forward, drop right heel down, scissor hips, inhale, come all the way up, warrior one. Stay on the exhale. Hands come to the ground, pop onto the ball of the back foot, step back into your plank, choose to stay here or maybe skip your flow. Eventually meeting in a down dog for three breaths. Bend your knees, look forward, step or hop front of the mat. Toes together, inhale, lengthen the spine first. Exhale, fold, sit back and down, chair pose. Inhale, come on up. Exhale to standing. Right away, inhale, reach back and down, chair pose. Exhale, fold. Three more rounds like this. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, sun sal B, step or hop. Plank or chaturanga. Find the control. Stick with the breath. From your down dog, right foot comes forward. Drop the back heel. Inhale, reach up. Hands come to the ground. Step back. Find the flow or skip it. Expand the lungs on that back bend if you're taking it. Left foot comes forward in space, drop the back heel. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale to the ground, moving a bit quicker, finding your flow. And then finding down dog for three breaths. Head releases, legs are getting open through back hamstrings and calves, spine is decompressing, stretching. Lots of extension and flexion through these flows. At the bottom of your last exhale, look forward, step or hop front of the mat. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, toes together, sit back and down, and inhale brings you up to chair pose. 
Exhale, stand tall. Take a breath. breath. Two more rounds of Sun Style B. Without my guidance, take them with your breath. Try to lengthen the movement. Try not to rush through it. And I'll be doing it with you if you need to look over. Press your toes together. We'll start in chair pose. Exhale, fold. Here you go. Always an option to skip your flows. Or drop to the knees. Or take a different variation you've been taking. Right foot comes first. One breath. One movement. Remember to take that three breath pause and down dog. Heels reaching towards the ground but not touching. Pressing yourself back towards those legs with the hands. Regaining focus on the breath. And then you move on to your last round, Sun Sal B. Toes together. And if you forget a little part, don't worry, just keep moving with breath. It's really the whole point of this practice. Find that scissoring action of the hips for your warrior one. Control through the belly so you don't hurt your low back. Three breaths and down dog. Take it. Last bit of strength here in the arms. Even the lower body. And then drop the knees. Toes touch. Body falls in between the legs just like we started. Arms come wide, fingers off your mat, and let your elbows come down, forearms relax, shoulders roll in towards the ground. If you find that point between your eyebrows, press into the ground and rock side to side, giving it a little massage. Noticing how this shape feels now, after all that movement, all that flowing, versus at the very beginning. Let your heartbeat slow down. Let your belly balloon and collapse against your thighs. And then before kind of letting go of this practice mentally, can you just take a moment to reflect and ask yourself, this simple, seemingly simple flow, what did it offer me? Was I able to access the breath in a different way than normal? Did the repetition serve me and allow me to find almost a meditative practice? And could I do just 20 minutes of this myself, maybe a couple times a week? When you're ready, start to press yourself up, 
sitting on your shins. Close the eyes, bring the arms into your lap, shrug your shoulders a few times, shake your wrists out, check in with how they're feeling. Maybe roll your head right and then left, letting go of any final bits of tension. And this sun salutation practice really is a waking up practice, something really awesome to do in the morning to give you energy, to revitalize the body. So I leave you here in a seated shape. If you wanna bring your palms together, bow chin towards chest. Take a moment to thank yourself, thank your body and thank your breath. I'm sending you much love. I'm hoping that this served you well today. Namaste.